What's up, guys? Welcome back to Amber's Golf. How are you doing that? Trevor, tell us what video. Oh, oh shoot. What video we're doing today. Okay, so we haven't done a lot on putters. Um, Careful. Putters, I, I think, I, I mean, I don't think, I know. That's enough. All right, sorry. Maybe they're, maybe they're durable. Uh, putters are by far, it goes without saying, the number one most important club in the bag, right? Why? Well, for me, if I go out and shoot a 90, I'm gonna have 35 putts, probably. Yeah, how many times do you hit your driver? Eight. How many times do you hit? I don't, not, not eight. Yeah, probably eight. How eight. many times do you hit a five iron? Three. Maybe? Maybe. But you, your putter, for sure, 30 if something. you're sub 30, you're a great putter, but you're gonna be right there between over 25 of, and 40. For over most a third people. of the game. Yeah, absolutely. So if there's one investment you need to make and you have to get right, it's putter. So today we're talking about Cleveland putters. And the thing is, is, is Cleveland the best putter for the money? We're gonna find out. All right, guys, don't forget, if you're in the Denver metro area, shoot, if you're anywhere in Colorado, we have people driving up from almost the New Mexico border down south. Come I mean, in, see us. Give us a call if you want to get something on order. We can order it, ship it to you. Yeah, or if you're online. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But come in. Dude, you're going to hit me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Careful. Anyway, if you're in this area, come see us. Check us out. Get fitted for some iron sets. Make an appointment. We have a, an email, official email now set up on our YouTube channel. Shoot us an email with any inquiries about anything. Um, we'll get back to you. We're actually doing pretty good about responses. Yeah. So. Okay, so Cleveland. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Don't forget to check out our barbecue channel. It's what supports everything. It's a sweet channel. Worst yeah. case, you'll watch us cook some awesome ribeye. Yep. That's worst case In fact, scenario. we'll give you a little preview of what we did today. Ready? All right, let's start with the infrared. Oh yeah, mama. Traditional. Now this broiler is gonna be tough because it's hot in there. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. so here's the thing. A lot of, when you think putter, you stop is saying Cleveland, here's the thing so much. Is Cleveland the first don't thing that it. comes to your mind? Don't say it. Huh? No, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah. In fact, it's probably like seventh or eighth. Actually, I, I barely knew they made putters. Okay, so you think putter, what comes to brand? Scotty, Odyssey, Ping, Answer Ping, you know, yeah. all the big guys. But here's the thing about Cleveland. So they essentially have three putter lines. They have their, I think it's their Huntington Beach which is their cheapest line, HB Soft, which is what we're reviewing today, and their front-facing or front-forward, which is their least forgiving yeah. and more of like a tour-type putter. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason we're talking about HB Soft today is this is, I think, the most affordable. It's like the only milled face putter you can get for under 200. Not the only, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, because you got the Kirkland. Mainstream, yeah, only mainstream milled face putter you can get for under $200. That has a brand on it that you've heard of. Yes. So, you know, obviously not a ton of technology in here. It's basically a casted club with a milled face. What's the advantage of a milled face? Tell them. So when you have something that's milled and not cast, cast, you have a lot of imperfections. Excuse me. So when you have the casting process, that's something that's um, poured in and um, into a mold. So there could be air bubbles, there could be different imperfections in that cast when you have our mold. When you have something that's milled, they literally take a piece of steel, but so then you have no imperfections in the face of the club. It's milled, you're gonna have soft, it's gonna have no impurities, and it's gonna be strong. Yeah, so it's a CNC milled. So a machine mills this face, so it is 100% flush 100% of the time. Yeah, no, response no should variety. feel great. Yes, and so it's a milled face, Obviously, they have to all the different shapes and sizes that you can see here. Chris, we're going to talk a little bit about putter fittings in a bit. Um, we're going to do a separate video on why you should get fitted for a putter. So that's one thing that I like about Cleveland. It's a milled face putter under $200. The other thing, people don't realize there's two, really two different types of putter strokes. I don't know, can you read this? So this is built for, it's really easy, easily put on there. The stroke type is for a slight arc. So what does that mean if you have an arc in your putter, putter stroke? Let me show you. So let's lay down. Do you have a nice straight edge? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, what do you know? There's a straight edge. 
So there's really two different types of putter strokes out there. So I have an arc stroke. So what that means is when I take the club back, I'm coming inside, okay? Then when I come through, you close the club face and then come back through with an arc. So that's an arc stroke, see that? And back in the day in the 70s, 80s, 90s, they told you not to arc it. So you were so, supposed to do everything you could to go straight front and back. In today's golf, what suits you is the best swing you can do. So if you wanna know at home, grab your putter, find a straight line or something, and just do some natural putter strokes over it and just that can easily tell you what type of putter stroke that you have, okay? And then what's really cool is Cleveland, even right on their website, they'll tell you exactly what it's built for. So the, obviously the other type would be an arc or straight back, straight forward, which is not me, that feels weird. So now what are the differences? How does a, a arc putter help you? Okay, so check this out. If you go to uh, balance the club, right? Look at that toe hang. Now toe hang means how much the toe hangs down. So see, this one's almost straight up and down. It's probably like a 40 degree, 60 degree toe hang. So what that means is the weight is in the toe because what happens is, is if that weight was not in the toe and it was super light on the toe, you'd be coming back here and you'd over close. So because it's drag, that toe weight keeps the club face open on an arc swing. So that way you're square when you contact the ball. So for example, if you look at this guy over here, look at that. That's almost a face balance putter, okay? Look at that. So that would be more for a straight putter versus an arc putter. So that's just one thing. Now what makes this toe hang is the hosel. Mm -hmm. So you can see this one's more like a plumber's neck, which is usually for like an arc putter. That one's just more of like a slight bend. And then shape doesn't really matter too much. That's just personal preference. Usually mallets are a little more forgiving. Now that was kind of a long little lesson. We're supposed to do putter fitting as a separate video, but I wanted but to show you the value. Now. now they're educated. Show you the value of Cleveland easily identifying. So you can just know, do it at home. Then you'll know right away if you're arc putter or a straight putter, and then go right on Cleveland's website and it tells you right there. Yeah. So that's another cool thing. Also, they offer this all-in shaft. Now, this seems a little more gimmicky to me, the all-in shaft. But if you go to any of the big box stores, every brand has implemented something other than Scotty. Right, I because seen it's Scotty. gimmicky. Because yeah. it's a, it's it's a, a trend. So basically, this is a carbon fiber type shaft with a steel shaft sort of grafted together. And apparently, it keeps more weight towards the bottom of the club head and then makes it a little more, creates a little more stability and a little more forgiving. It's like a $50 upgrade, so now it takes this putter over $200. So I think for under $200, a milled face putter, you can get in 34, 35, or 36 inches. I'm partial to a blade. That's what suits your eye? Suits my eye. But most importantly, it gets me results. Let me try again. That's in. See, that's my putter. So if you want help with the putter fitting, if you want to buy Cleveland putter from us, we can definitely do that. We can definitely get you going. Mm -hmm. We have a giveaway to do too. What yeah. are we doing? So today we're going to be giving away a Cleveland, a Cleveland putter. putter. Cleveland putter. A Cleveland putter. What do they have to do to win? So in order to get a Cleveland putter, in order to qualify to win a Cleveland putter, you have to do two very simple things. You have to be a subscriber to the channel, which that's just a click. And you have to comment on this video because we choose out of our comments. And how hard is it to say, hey, great video, guys. Hey, get better lighting. Hey. Whatever. I like your shirt. Anything. You can say whatever you want. But if you do those things, you're qualified to enter. You're entered to win. Um, and what do we have to give away today, too, from the last video? Today, we're going to be giving away something from our barbecue channel. Let's go over we're and We're going to be giving away the 70s. Let's go. Well, let's 70th. go show them. All right, guys, so you, you see him. Chris is gonna put in a little overlay there. You can win green or yellow. Great news, it's Packers colors. Um, you'll comment, reach out to Chris when we announce the winner. Um, Trev, we might as well just do that right now. Yeah, tell them who the winner is. The winner is, is Brian A. He said, I've seen great things on the Tour Edge Exotic C723 driver. 
Has it been on your radar? All right, Brian, hit us up, reach out to Chris, he'll get all your information, and we'll let you choose green or yellow Weber grill. Anything else to add, brother? Nope, I'll do it. All right, thanks for watching. Check out Cleveland Putters, they're awesome. Reach out to us if you wanna get fitted, get one on order. We'll see you guys next time.